Why is it when I film, everyone has to get their leaf blowers out? Hi, and welcome to today's video. Yesterday I went to Mecca Cosmetica and I purchased a couple of things. Now, it wasn't just to pick up my Mecca Beauty Loop, which comprised of two different things for the Beauty Loop Level 3 members. You were able to choose between an RMS Luminizer or a three-piece gift set by Sunday Riley. Now, in this little gift box, you do get the SEO cream. You get the autocorrect. And you also get the good jeans. I'm not going to be talking about these today, but I will give them a try because I've been um, a little bit curious to try a couple of their products. Now, I have used Sunday Riley before. I have used their eye cream, retinol cream, um, and I think I have used some other products as well in the past, but I just can't quite put my finger on it right now. But these three products here, I haven't tried, so it'll be great to try them out. And they're, they're good little sample sizes, actually. So I picked that up, and that was, that was free. Now, if you do order it online, you do have to purchase something that's $25 and over to include this in your gift box when they ship it out to you. What I did pick up, from the store was this little two pack. It's a contour stick by Mecca Max and a blush stick. So this one here is the off duty blush stick in sunset, summer sunset. And this is the medium contour stick in medium. I will just do some swatches. So this is the medium contour stick. A nice light to medium neutral brown we also have this gorgeous blush I did try the tester on when I was in store and I was like yeah picking this up and this is the blush stick in um, summer sunset a beautiful orangey apricot shade with a hint of uh, gold sparkles in there so I'm gonna give those a go in today's makeup look for the get ready with me I also picked up a lip moisturizer now there was a lip moisturizer or a lip balm that I could have chosen I didn't really like the lip balm because it was a mojito scent and honestly I'm not a big fan of smelling mojito on my lips I'll drink a mojito but I'm not gonna have the flavor on my lips so I end up just getting the original lip moisturizer by Melon and Goetz. Let's put some of this on our lips now. It's supposed to be one of the best uh, lip moisturizers in town. I'll just take off this little plastic um, sticker that's on the back there. There we go. So yeah, with this, it's uh, $27. You get 10 mils, so it's pricey. I just knocked the camera, so it is quite pricey. Is it going to focus? Why is it when I film, everyone has to get their leaf blowers out? It is so annoying. I'm so sorry. I don't care. I'm filming this. I'm trying to show you the lip moisturizer. It doesn't want to seem to focus. But anyway, we're whacking some of that on our lips. The consistency is thick, but it's supposed to be hydrating, moisturizing, making your lips in better condition. I know that my lips could use some tender loving care. One thing about me is I do not exfoliate my lips. I should do it more often, but I just simply don't. And if you know anything about me, I'm not really a lip gloss fan at all. So when it comes to lip treatments and lip products, yes, I'm fine with that. Oh, big dollop there. It's that just spurted right out. I think there's just too much, so I'm going to mm -hmm. yeah, it should be all right. Yeah, so it feels good, feels like a nice lip balm, feels 
like any kind of lip gloss I suppose that you would put on your lips but a thicker consistency and I've heard really good reviews about it so have you guys tried this lip moisturizer and what are your thoughts about it I'd love to know so I was in the mood for picking up a new eyebrow product and I've been keen to try the Morphe brow tees it is I think I pay $36 for the milk kush eyebrow gel and this was only 18 or 17 dollars i just need to try it this is the shade cold brew so comes in a lovely little tube and it's in the shade cold brew which is this shade right there and also Just showing you the, the packaging. You do get five mils of product and 0.6 fluid ounces. I'm not really sure how much you get in the milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel, but we're gonna put this through our eyebrows now and give this a first time test. This is the brush. So it's kind of like a, like a bell shape. And Putting that through. The brush feels nice. It doesn't stick or hurt. The color's great. It reminds me of the shade Dutch because it was the closest one that I could find that would be the same as the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Dutch. And what I like about this is I actually had to go in and reapply a bit more product on the brush so it doesn't, it doesn't come out really thick at first. But I'm happy with that. We'll see how that goes for the rest of the day. If this happens to be a great product that lasts all day, it might just replace my Kush Fiber Brow Gel by Milk Makeup. Uh, but we'll see. We're not making any promises just yet. So I just go ahead and do the other eyebrow. I hope you guys have been well. And what have you been loving in makeup or wanting to try lately? That'll do make sure i close that properly my hands are so sweaty at the moment anyway i did also pick up naked sundays collagen glow 100 percent mineral sunscreen spf 50 plus with plant-based collagen and antioxidants perfect priming lotion broad spectrum so um been wanting to try this new sunscreen yeah really excited to try it. i'm actually just gonna gonna get my receipt for everything just one minute so that's the the SPF collagen glow SPF is $39.95 the lip moisturizer is $26 and the party cheeks contour and blush was a $32 bundle now $40 if you were to purchase them separately so you save eight bucks which is really really good and that's pretty much what I picked up now also oh and of, of course the um the eyebrow gel for $17 so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some sunscreen now this is my first time trying this I'm really not gonna be able to give you my thoughts on how it goes or if it's going to be my new ride or die or whatever because at the moment i still love the clinique city block broad spectrum super defense moisturizer spf 30 and i also love the spf 46 uv clear l to md sunscreen they're my two holy grails at the moment okay so i'm just going to give this a bit of a shake because i think it's important to shake up the sunscreen before applying it I'll zoom in a bit closer there now it is tinted formula put about that much and they do say to reapply obviously you know um says this gentle hydrating three-in-one primer 100 percent mineral sunscreen and collagen moisturizer is infused with watermelon extract and vegan collagen for a satin smooth translucent finish if rubbed in well so just says directions apply every morning and again 20 minutes before sun exposure reapply sunscreen frequently don't be shy especially after swimming exercising or towel drying 
Store below 30 degrees Celsius, 80 minutes of water protection. This feels almost identical to the Clinique C Block Super Defense sunscreen. Now this is not sting proof. If it gets into your eyes, it's going to sting. I do have a sunscreen by Lore, uh, La. Oh my goodness, I'll go get it in a second, I'll show you. But I don't like the scent of it at all. It, it's, it's good, but the scent is so overbearing and I think it's because of the the alcohol thing that they have in it the I don't know there's some sort of alcohol but it's not the the it's not the alcohol that dries your skin out La Roche Posay or something putting that in and it's rubbing in and it's thick in consistency but it's going in so so well I'm gonna go show you the other sunscreen so this is the other sunscreen that I'm referring to, the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 Plus Tinted Fluid Lightweight Sunscreen Non-Shiny Finish. It does have fragrance, unfortunately, which is so, so shitty, but this is one that doesn't sting your eyes. So with this one here, you do get, you got to shake it, you get 50 mils in this, made in France. Okay, anyway. I need to wipe my hands okay so I'm not putting on any foundation at all today I'm just leaving it simply with the sunscreen and now let's go ahead and apply the contour I'm going to be doing the contour all around my face I'm going to contour my nose under the jawline I'm just going ham with this because it is quite light but it does sort of remind me of a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury colouring of the contour stick. The Hollywood Flawless Finish Contour. Put a little bit here. Just complete the nose there. So I'm going to blend this out and what brush am I going to use? We'll use this. Uh, this is just by Refa. It's just a little mini buffing brush. The number 17 mini buffing brush and let's go ahead and work that contour in blending like a dream it's not peeling up on the sunscreen which is great did i apply too much possibly but that's okay let's go ahead and work that in I'm loving the color of this. Really, really, really nice. It's blending super easy. happy with that contour the nose let's blend that in a bit more all right now I'm going to go in with the blush stick in summer sunset now I'm not going to go crazy with this because I honestly do not know how pigmented it is on the cheeks yet so we'll do one little bit there one little bit there actually that turned out quite sheer no julie calm down just blend that in first you can always reply more okay i mean it is showing up but i only did a small amount what is this There we go. I'm going to apply a bit more. Yep. See, I can't help myself. I cannot help myself. It's a beautiful colour. Bit on the nose. 
I'm just really loving this color. It's beautiful. Now, if you don't want to be too shiny, I definitely recommend powdering the whole face with probably the Hourglass Translucent Ambient Powder because it will keep everything in place. My face does feel slightly tacky, so if you don't like that feeling, definitely you can go ahead and powder, but I don't mind leaving this as a tacky finish for the day today. It is, I'd say, one of these products that will sink in a little bit more as the day goes on. And um, if you are very, very oily, like I said, you can powder on top and then put the cream product again over the powder and it'll be just fine. So that is gorgeous. I mean, I'm not wearing any foundation whatsoever, so I'm really, really happy with the glow. You can obviously still see my brown spots peering through, which I really don't mind to see, but I do want to put a bit more blush on. I feel like I need a bit more. There we go. Now that, that's more like it. Okay. I'm gonna let the hair out just so we can have a better better look of how that'll see my hair is sticking to the product now that's irritating right i get it definitely go in set the face with translucent powder just a really light dusting will do the trick but look at that beautiful glow and honestly i I'm loving these products now. Today I'm not putting on any mascara or eyeliner. I'm just giving my eyes a break from wearing all that. It's Sunday today. I'm just keeping my eyes nice and bare. And you know what? There's something so liberating about just having no eye makeup on. It's just like you can see so much better. And yeah, that's just my... If you're a contact lens lover, you'll know what I'm talking about probably. <laughs> Uh, but anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video now. Hey guys, it's future Julie here. Still have the lip balm on, it is so not sticky. And yeah, it's just, I don't know what I can say is, um, this could possibly be my new favourite lip balm. And one that I don't really want to take off my lips as soon as I put it on. Again, really good, very similar to the Sonzi lip balm and the Aesop lip balm that I have. So yeah, it's still on my lips, definitely not sticky at all. And so far, so good. But what I would love to know is, do you have any of these products and what are your thoughts on them? And yeah, is there, have you got this sunscreen? Do you own any of these products from Mecca Max? Do you have this? Famous lip moisturizer by Malin and Goetz. It's supposed to be, look, it's still on my lips. Still feels super ultra hydrating and it's not making me want to take it off. Usually with um, a lot of lipstick and lip glosses, they're so goopy. I just want to like wipe them all off. Uh, the Sonzi one is beautiful. I like to leave that on my lips. Um, the Aesop lip balm, I also love leaving that on my lips as well. And um, I might do a video actually on all the lip balms that I think are excellent for dry lips. But again, I'm no saint. I don't stick to doing it every day because I'm lazy that way. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this little get ready with me and the new product haul that I just recently picked up. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.